Hi everybody, this is Father Moki coming to you on Friday, for this week only Friday, uh, for Chicken Chat from Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in here, here in Wailuku, Maui. It is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. Uh, today, we are remembering the birthdays of Isaiah Lampatok, Kiara Agpo'on, and Charles Hill. And while we're saying happy birthday to everyone, we also say happy anniversary to Mary and Rogelio Dinong. This week, we are remembering the death anniversaries of Irene Afala, Elias Evangelista, Pauline Higa, Teofila Lucas, and Lita Mailem. I also ask your prayers for my high school classmate, Damien Kale Fujioka, Honoka'a High School, class of 1983, who passed away earlier this week on the Big Island. Uh, now it's time to say a prayer for everyone on our pastoral care prayer list. Let us pray. Eric, Purificacion, Paula, Jim, Donna, Filomeno, Su Cheng, Amy, Velma, Cynthia, Joseph, Sana, Bill, Judy, Lucille, Paulino, Catalina, Maggie, Shirley, Fred, Dolores, David H., Leilani, Jacinta, Kaili, Juanita, Harry, Dixie L., David L., Kevin, Jan, Tripp, Joyce, Elmer, Sparky, Sonia, Ryder, Nelson, Dominga, Pilar, Arnell, Nick, Marilyn, Paige, Ernesto, Randall, Cora S., Barbara, Charlesta, Suzanne, Paul, Wendy, Dan, Gabby, Lynn, Tomo, Christy, Maisie, Doreen, Chris, Landina, Samantha. Gracious God, we hold up to you, everyone on our pastoral prayer care list, and everyone who needs prayers. Uh, we commend them to your loving care and your mercy. Amen. Thank you very much, everyone. If you have any intentions or prayer requests, please let me know, and uh, I will be sure to include them in the pastoral care prayer list or uh, send out a uh, request to the prayer chain that we have here at the church. We do have a new Bible verse for April, Revelation 21.4. You'll know this if uh, you attend Episcopal funerals because there it's, this is in the funeral anthems. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. And as I say that, I realize it's not in the funeral anthem, it's one of the uh, appointed readings for the burial office. My apologies. Um, if I seem a little off, I am, because I got off the plane last night at 8.30, and uh, we are recording this on Wednesday. Normally, we record Chicken Chat on Tuesdays. So uh, that's why we're coming to you a, a day late this week. That'll just be for this week. Also, um, we were, we were, Dixie and I were in San Francisco for a family funeral. And because the funeral was on the weekend, we stayed for the weekend. And we went to St. Gregory of Nyssa Episcopal Church uh, in, in San Francisco. Uh, I went there because one of the... Uh, cohorts with me on the Standing Commission for Liturgy and Music is the rector there. It's a very interesting church. Uh, you walk in and you immediately see the altar and then beyond the altar outside in the garden you see the baptismal font and their their philosophy is that so many people come to communion and then they are baptized afterwards. Then when you look to the right, there's what they call a hanamichi. You know, hanamichi is a, a kabuki, part of a kabuki stage where the actor goes out on this kind of like fashion model runway. And um, they, they do their liturgy of the word from there. And uh, they, they light candles and have incense going while the readings are being read. And then the priest uh, sits in 
a Thai elephant chair and presides and also preaches from that spot sitting down uh, bearing in mind that Jesus did a lot of his his uh, teaching while seated uh, the the sermon really struck me actually a couple of tidbits from that sermon uh, the, the preacher said uh, we, we should preach our lives not from our wounds but from our scars which I thought was interesting and then he also said when we forgive someone we remember not who they were but we think about who we hope they will become uh, and and I thought that was a really good benchmark for for forgiveness after the liturgy of the word um, you dance to the altar which I got the first dance okay uh, uh, and then and then around the altar they have this circular mural with the dancing saints so they have all these people from lesser feasts and fasts and things like that who are dancing uh, with us as we go around the communion table one of them is Queen Lilio Kalani they have her but they don't have Queen Emma or King Kamehameha the fourth which I thought was interesting uh, let me see what else do I want to tell you oh uh, they allowed dogs in their church and so the dogs were roaming around during the service but they were like the friendliest people i mean dixie and i walked in and there were maybe 30 people attending church and we must have had 10 people just come up curious you know why we were there and started talking to us and then when they found out i was a priest they put me to work so my job was to go and ring the bell to gather everybody in and then I got to ring the, the gong to start the actual service. was so much fun we have some videos to share with you uh, so that was our experience very very experience very different from what we do here um, and uh, you know it's not everybody's cup of tea but it was it was an interesting way to worship because it took me out of my comfort zone and because I was outside of my comfort zone I actually had to think about what was going on and so um, it, it was fun um, and I thank both Mother Linda and Heather Mueller for being here to cover for me while I was at my uh, family funeral, which was also very nice, by the way. Um, let's see. Uh, we are back in the church sanctuary on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Uh, as of last Sunday, uh, masks are optional inside. Uh, please, uh, just some uh, announcements. Please remember, do not park. Um, in the ramp in the parking lot over by bail bonds that is access to additional parking now that vineyard street is closed on weekdays uh, we are asking for easter egg hunt donations by this coming sunday april 3rd uh, they need plastic eggs easter baskets small candy small toys uh, call Natasha Lau if you have any questions or need your items picked up. Otherwise, they can be dropped off here at the office or brought to church on Sunday morning. Uh, we do uh, summer camp is coming up at Camp Mokaleia. They have an early bird special for uh, registration before May 6th. Uh, we do have uh, the first five participants to sign up for the week-long camp will receive a $200 scholarship from Good Shepherd Episcopal Church. Um, almost half the cost is already covered by scholarships. See the Shepherd staff for details. And if you really want to send your child and uh, still need additional funds, please come and see me discreetly and I will keep it discreet and we will make provisions for you. Uh, I got off the plane last night and um, for the next uh, three mornings from 7 to 10 I am participating in the church pension group client services council uh, 20 I think it's about 50 people and they listen to us and our concerns and respond to our questions and take it all in so that they can figure out how to move um, 
forward in ways that are going to be beneficial to all. It's very, very interesting to hear about the Church Pension Fund and also just to see the different people from across the Episcopal Church. Um, I, I looked at the screen and realized that uh, one of my classmates from seminary was on the call. Uh, she is now a bishop, the Bishop of Vermont. So uh, just interesting to see how uh, things have progressed for people in the last 17 years. Uh, let's see. Last week, the coffee hour was hosted by uh, Sharon Daniels. Because we've been away, I don't know if anyone has signed up for this coming Sunday, but uh, please do sign up with Cora if you can help. We, we want to keep it simple, not real elaborate coffee, juice, uh, coffee, which uh, somebody from the church will make, I think. And, you know, if you just bring something light to snack on, pastries or things like that, that would be great. We don't, we don't want to do an elaborate lunch and, and those kinds of things. It's more important to uh, have the fellowship and the talk story. Uh, the Kaohana Kitchen uh, this Sunday will be uh, taken care of by Santa Evangelista and Team 3. Last Sunday was Forever Family and Friends. We say thank you very much to them. Uh, in terms of a cup of cold water, uh, run rider volunteers are needed for Wednesdays and Mondays in Paia. Uh, you meet at Good Shepherd at 7.30 in the morning and you get back no later than noon. Uh, Blake is barking because the senior warden just walked in and he's happy to see him after a week. Uh, please contact Deb Lynch if you can help, and her information is in the Shepherd staff. Uh, they really need blankets, men's regular shorts and board shorts, uh, all sizes, especially small, and jeans. Um, the Queen Anne Athletic Club continues to go strong. Uh, we continue with our virtual Lenten reflections. Uh, they are available from 6 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube. And we're focusing on the 14 stations of the cross. We cover, uh, take three days now to cover one station. So we're, it's nice. We're really going in depth into it. Um, remember, we have Holy Eucharist at 5 p.m. out here in the courtyard for those who are uncomfortable being inside yet. We have our virtual at 9 a, uh, 7 a.m. on Sunday mornings on F Facebook Premiere and YouTube for those who uh, still feel the need to stay home. And we have 9 a.m. indoor on Sunday mornings. Uh, centering prayer, 4 p.m. Tuesdays on Zoom. Men's Bible study, 7 a.m. Wednesdays on Zoom. Anglican Rosary, 12 noon on Facebook Live. Thursday Women's Bible Study, 12 noon on Zoom. Uh, we do have Palm Sunday coming up. We are uh, going to be making palm crosses from the 8th through the 9th. I'll have more details about that. There's also a Lei Po'o workshop on April 9th. Uh, information will be coming out about that in the Shepherd's staff. For Holy Week, everyone, Palm Sunday we have our regular offering of services. That's 5 p.m. out here, virtual at 7, uh, 9 a.m. Liturgy of the Palms in person. Then we have Maundy Thursday with foot washing, Eucharist, stripping of the altar at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. We will have a Good Friday liturgy at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Saturday, uh, the Saturday before Easter, uh, we'll have our 5 p.m. service out here. 7 p.m. Easter vigil in the church. Uh, we're not going to do a pageant this year because there were too many unknown factors and so uh, we'll, we'll look forward to and anticipate bringing that back next year. Uh, then Sunday morning, we have a 6 a.m. sunrise service right outside the front door of the church. A 7 a.m. virtual service and then a 9 a.m. Eucharist with egg hunt afterwards and five baptisms that Sunday morning. Uh, then we all collapse. Okay, so that's our uh, Holy Week offering. Uh, this week in our prayers, we will be praying for the Anglican Church of Nigeria. 
Uh, we will also be praying for Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Wailuku, Maui. Uh, their priest, the Reverend Mokihino, and his wife, Mrs. Dixie Kaetsu, I think we are known to you. And then uh, we have a number of saints. And I that um, I'm reading a lot of this for the first time, but the first saint is Mary of Egypt. She was from Egypt. Uh, a monastic around 421 and she is the patron saint of penitence. So if you are doing penance, uh, pray to Mary of Egypt and she will intercede for you. Uh, Richard, Bishop of Chichester. He was the son of a prosperous yeoman farmer and he and his brother were orphaned at an early age and they had this incompetent guardian who squandered their inheritance. Uh, he went off to Oxford to be a scholar. He studied canon law and he got a doctorate and became chancellor of Oxford in 1235. Uh, okay. We can put links to these information um, for you. Uh, Martin Luther King, it says no bio available, but we know about Martin Luther King Jr. and the, and the wonderful things that he did for civil rights. But um, a uh, an not so well known thing about Martin Luther King Jr. was his anti-Vietnam War advocacy. Uh, Yeah, he was an object of um, J. Edgar Hoover's FBI investigations and was kind of persecuted. He also um, won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, and he was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1977 and the Congressional Gold Medal in 2003. Of course, very well-deserving uh, Martin Luther King. Harriet Starr Cannon. Um, she died in 1896 and she was the first superior of the Sisters of St. Mary, one of the first orders of Anglican nuns. The uh, Anglican Communion and the Episcopal Church does have orders of nuns. Um, I had a seminary classmate uh, who was formerly a member of one. Uh, then we have Pandita. Mary Ramabai. She is a prophetic witness and evangelist in India. Uh, she was a champion of improvement in the plight of women in India. You bear in mind, you know, she died in the 1920s. And so a lot of this was happening under the British Raj in conjunction uh, with um, still uh, having a caste system in, in India. Uh, her, her family was an intellectual Brahmin class and her father um, tried to instill in her a uh, passion that, um, that women should have an education and that went against kind of the philosophy of that time. Daniel C. G. G. C. Wu, priest and missionary among Chinese Americans. Um, when he founded, oh, he uh, founded True Sunshine Chinese Mission. I, I used to know the rector there in San Francisco and Church of Our Savior, which is in Oakland. Um, I was uh, up to be rector of that church in one point and then um, ended up not prevailing. Uh, Tikhon, Patriarch of Russia and Confessor. Uh, he uh, was instrumental in the Soviet Union uh, during the early years of communism. Uh, you know, in the, in the communist uh, governing philosophy, there is no religion, so I imagine he was a bit of a renegade. Then we have William Augustus. Muhlenberg, a priest from a distinguished German Lutheran family, and he was attracted to the Episcopal Church by its use of English, ordained, and was active in promoting the Sunday School movement and concerned that the church should minister to all social groups, which, um, I don't know, 
that kind of espouses the philosophy of this guy named Jesus. Uh, I think we all know about him. Anne Ayers, uh, she was a religious and a nun and the founder of the first Episcopalian religious order for women. Uh, there were no uh, orders specific for women and so uh, she founded the first order for women. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a Lutheran theologian in Germany. He was a professor at the University of Berlin. And when Hitler came into power in 1933, he uh, became instrumental as a person of Protestant resistance to the Nazis. Uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer did die in a concentration camp because of the philosophies that he espoused. That was quite a long list. I'm sorry we had to give you the Cliff's Notes versions. Um, but if you would like to hear or, or study any of these people further, uh, please go to sagtucket.com and click. Um, now everyone, for the chicken of the week. There is a white chicken uh, who comes onto the premises with two black chickens. And what they do is, I don't know if you realize this, but the way chickens um, get rid of mites and things like that is they shake around in the dust. And the dust, uh, um, you know, gets in under their feathers and it irritates the mites and the mites go away. So it's their way of bathing. Uh, so anyway, uh, this, this white chicken comes on and frequently um, uh, has a dust bath on our grounds and then goes off and shakes the dust off of her. Uh, so we would like to name the chicken of the week Bathsheba. Uh, Bathsheba for uh, coming on to the grounds, taking a bath, and then shaking the dust off her feet and being free of mites. May we all be free of spiritual mites, everyone. Take care, and we will see you next week. Bye now. Blakey. I'm going to watch you to be up here. <laughs>